chaps. Oh. Mr. Keith, the geoengineers confronted at Cambridge University and giving lectures and things. And he seemed indignant, seemed most upset. Think about, think carefully about what I'm saying. You know, goodness me, the audacity of the man. Fascinating study, isn't it? How about a fire extinguisher? Oh, no, no, we're, psh, psh. there we are, Mr. Geoengineer. Oh, no, we're not spraying, Mr. Geoengineer. Psh. We're only considering it and having moratoriums, etc. No, we're definitely not spraying it. Oh, it is my reputation. That's not foam all over your face. It's water vapor. No, not happening. No, not And besides, if we were to spray you with a fire extinguisher, um, in the future, uh, only examining models at the moment, and that's really good fun. Um, it, we'd only spray in the future to combat global warming. Uh, I mean, climate change. What is it this year? Oh, there's still climate change. Yeah. Anyway, um, what? No, sorry, no, I don't have a cloth to wipe the foam off your face. Because it's not happening. It's not real. We're only considering it, doing it in the future to combat global farming, uh, sorry, global warming, uh, uh, climate change. Uh, and I don't have a cloth to wipe them. So that would be a good act. Uh, in a play, I mean. But better than his act, anyway. Uh, now that would be a good act. Better than his act, anyway. Better than his act. Naturally. Better than his act. Naturally. Perhaps author Sprit, uh, Spritz Springmeier perhaps author uh, Fritz Springmeier is right. When asked about what kind of mind control must these thousands of pilots be under uh, to do this spraying day in day out or rather day in sun out. The pilots spraying chemtrails and the scientists behind them really are, must be, mind-controlled hypnotics. How else would you sleep at night without worrying about the consequences of spraying the whole planet with megatons of highly toxic materials and biological agents for 20 years? Unless they're psychopaths, of course. Hmm. For the benefit of the Virtual You program and the beasts manning the aptly named Beast Computer, I only advocate peaceful opposition to worldwide population reduction. That'd show them, eh? That'll show them, eh? And our great-grandchildren won't ask what you did to stop this because your rebellious genes will not be allowed to flourish in agar jelly of the Petri dish and brought to full development. That's just for the Lucky Gene Club and Mr. Roverfeller's world citizens. Uh, if they still think they're in the big club by then, which they won't be. <laughs> Oh, ah, oh, people's souls are so cheap today. It used to be a lot harder in the old days, you know, when there was more of a, a moral compass to contend with. Pesky, compass-yielding do-gooders. They didn't know what was good for them. We're such, such squares, too. Well, I've babbled over the brook for today. I'm off to the award ceremony. Tally ho! Oh, and before I go, there was a scene in the Battle of Britain film where um, Herman Goering is 
becoming frustrated at his pilot's frustration at not being able to deal with the 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 Allied forces aircraft in the Battle of Britain because they were getting hammered. Um, no matter how much they threw at them, they were getting hammered. And when he asked one of his top pilots, now I don't know if this has happened in reality or not, but in the film Battle of Britain, it's very good, I recommend it. Um, quite humorous too. In the film Battle of Britain, Hermann Goering, the head of the, the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force, asks the, the top pilot, you know, gentlemen, sit down, I'm, sit down, I'm here to help. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> Something like this, uh, bitte meine Herren, ich bin hier zu helfen. Was brauchst du? And the Messerschmitt pilot says, geben Sie mir eine Staffel Spitfire. Give me a squadron of Spitfires. <laughs> oh well, Herman Goering didn't like that. Herman Dumpling didn't like that. Oh! So shuffled off with his staff, and uh, apparently this pilot was reprimanded. But um, so give me a squadron of Spitfires. How about that? A peaceful opposition. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, which is uh, not allowed under the Sovietized global system, is it? Mustn't make jokes or shatire. Sorry, satire. <laughs> shatire. That's a good one. Well, signing off for now, and um, there's a new song coming up. Uh, there's a new song I published. It's all about me. Uh, the last five years I've spent doing radio and then doing chemtrail rallies purely for the purpose of uh, me making lots of success in the Illuminati dominated music industry. So um, here's a plug for my new song. It's called You Can Be You. And uh, there's a new one coming up soon too. That was just a little sample going over the chords. Anyway, it's goodbye from me, Patrick Lynch, and hello again and goodbye for now. And um, reports of my uh, demise are grossly exaggerated, etc. Paraphrasing, etc., etc. And uh, just for the record, I would never commit suicide, even though the purge has begun on independent journalists. I would never, ever commit suicide because I'm a Catholic. I'm not allowed to. God bless.